All right, so you found your two points, right? Well, now the next thing we need to do is figure out what is the x and y coordinates for these points. A couple points I want to remember. Pi over 4, if you guys remember, was square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2, right? So if I look at this, this point over here is a direct reflection of that point over my y-axis. Therefore, that's now the square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. The only thing that's different is my x is negative. So now, if I want to reflect it over my x-axis, now my x is still going to be negative, and so is my y. So this coordinate point is square root of negative square root of 2 over 2, comma negative square root of 2 over 2. Is that? Okay, so use your base point. Remember, when you have 4 as your uh, denominator, you're going to be using um, that uh, part of your unit circle that's dealing with in force, which is your coordinate point, square root of 2 over 2. Over here, we have my point pi over 3. And if you guys remember, I told you, please memorize that first quadrant. Because over here, what you guys can say is, this first point is going to be 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2. And if you can memorize that point, again, what we'll do is we'll just look at reflections. These two points are reflections of each other over the x-axis. So therefore, if this is a positive x, this one is still going to be a positive x. But here, it's a positive y. Down here, it's going to be a negative y. So it would be a 1 half, comma, negative square root of 3 over 2. So that is how you find the coordinate point for those two lines. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay.